view of a typical Australian fruit growing district where Australian canning fruits are produced. Just as perfection in feminine beauty evokes comparison with the peach, so Australian peaches symbolize perfection in the realm of peaches. Heavy crops are assured because Australia's natural advantages of fertile soil and glorious sunshine are combined with constant cultivation and modern methods of irrigation. Just as we purchase gas or electricity for domestic use, so the fruit grower purchases water for his orchard. The rotary water meters measure exactly the volume of water used. The orchardist, with a network of small ditches or channels, ensures that each tree is adequately supplied with water. Over 1,300 settlers with their families are engaged in the production of fruits for canning in the fertile soil of the Goulburn Valley in Victoria and the Murrumbidgee Valley in New South Wales, basking in glorious sunshine, Australian peaches grow in prolific perfection. Picking time provides a healthy seasonal occupation for thousands of Australians who revel in the open air and sunshine. Most of the canning fruit produced in Australia is grown by repatriated soldiers and by British migrant settlers, and the average annual production is about two million cases. Modern transport ensures that no time is lost in delivering the peach crop straight from the tree to the cannery. By the way, the value of the yearly production is about £1,750,000, and of this total, approximately 50% represents exports. On arrival at the cannery, each case of freshly picked fruit is subjected to a rigid inspection by fruit experts and government inspectors to ensure that no inferior fruit is processed. The first of the many processes through which the fruit passes before it is ready for shipment is pitting. This means cutting the peaches in half and removing the stone. Pitting is done by girls whose nimble fingers are much better adapted to such work than those of the clumsier male. Constant practice gives them amazing speed. Needless to say, the girls work on a piecework basis and the cannery champion, uh, here she is, draws a weekly wage which would turn most of us green with envy. This is another champion, they're in a different sphere. He is emptying the pitted fruit into the peeler. Just watch the wrist work and the follow through. In the peeler, the peach skins are removed, then the fruit is specked. That is, the discolored and damaged peaches are rejected, whilst the finest fruit is selected for export. The peach sections are now automatically graded. You see, the peaches in each tin must be not only uniform in size, but also uniform in quality and color. Therefore, another team of girls, specially trained, select from the graded fruit peaches of similar color and quality for each tin. The cans of fruit now pass into the syruper, a machine which automatically adds a certain quantity of rich syrup to each tin, syrup made from Australian cane sugar. The fruit must again pass a government inspector who checks the quality of both fruit and syrup. Passing from the sterilizer, the tins are crimped. Crimping is the cannery term for capping or putting on the lids, which, like most canning processes, is done by up-to-date machinery. The final stages are cooking and cooling, and after these operations, the peaches are ready for the table. In this modern age, it is possible to can almost everything from peaches to music. But whilst the science of the reproduction of sound has a long way to go before all tone values can be faithfully reproduced, the canned peach compares favorably with fresh fruit, not only in flavor, but also in food value, as the canning process does not detract from either. The individual tins are now tapped, that is, tested by sound, for non-sterile or faulty tins. 
a test that probably began life as a xylophone player. Automatically, each tin is labeled as it passes rapidly through this machine. And finally, carrying the branded labels, which are a guarantee of the purity and high quality of Australian canned fruits, the tins are packed for export. Truly an all British product. Finest Australian peaches in containers of Welsh tin plate, packed in cases made of Canadian softwoods. These fruits are equal to the finest foreign products. British consumers who purchase these empire products get not only the finest quality, but they are assisting fellow Britishers on Australian orchards, as well as the British tin plate and shipping industry.